Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a Spring Boot REST API that returns a list as a JSON to the client. Well, let's go to IntelliJ IDEA. And in previous lecture, we have created a REST API that returns a student object as a JSON to the client. In this lecture, we will write a REST API that returns a list of students as a JSON to the client. So go to student controller class and within a student controller class, we are going to write the REST API. So here, let's first create the Java method that returns a list of students and then we'll make that Java method as a REST API by using Spring annotations. So here just type public and then return type of the method as a list of type student. All right, and next, let's give method name as get students. Let me first create a list of type student and let's call it as students equal to new array list and next let's add a student to this list so here students dot add student and then new student let's give id as a one and then first name ramesh and then last name kodatri next let's add one more student students dot add and then new student and let's pass value to this constructor id as a 2 and then post name let's say umesh and last name let's say further perfect next let's go ahead and let's add one more student let's say student dot let's call add method and then new student and let's pass value to the constructor id as a 3 and then first name let's say ram and then last name let's say jadav next let's add one more student students dot add and then new student and let's you id as a four and then post name as a sanjay and let's you last name as a power perfect now we have added four students to the students list next let's return this students object perfect now we have created a simple get students java method it returns a list of students next let's make this get students method as a rest api by using spring annotation let's go ahead and let's annotate this method with at get mapping annotation well we use at get mapping annotation to map the incoming http get request to this method and this method should return a list of students as a json to the client next let's configure the url for this rest api so here let's pass students so this is going to be a students because this rest api returns a list of students so whenever a client want to call this rest api then client have to use this url for example localhost colon 800 slash students all right perfect now let's go and let's run our spring boot application and let us test this rest api so let me start the spring boot application well notice here our spring boot application is up and running in embedded tomcat server on port 8080 so let me copy this url and this REST API is going to handle HTTP GET request so we can make a GET request from the browser so let's go to browser and in a new tab just paste this URL and hit enter and there we go you can able to see the client got a response that is a list of students in a JSON format this is how we create a Spring Boot REST API that returns a list in a JSON format alright great I will see you in the next lecture